Hey everyone, so today I'm doing an update video about where I've been in, you know, the past two years, where I'm at in my life, you know, all that. Um, a lot of you have requested this video. There are some of you that have been with me since the very beginning, and I want to thank all of you that are subscribed to me, but those of you that, you know, are always leaving me comments, and I just know who you are via YouTube, and I really appreciate your support. So, I didn't really plan out this video, so if it's kind of like everywhere, I apologize, but I guess the first thing I'll start with is... I guess my living situation. Um, about two years ago, a year and a half, I moved out on my own. I was currently dating somebody and I made the really poor choice of like moving in with them way too early. It was kind of a shitty situation. Like I wasn't ready to move in together, but he didn't have like, his parents was like moving soon and have a place to stay. So it turned into him being a little bitch, excuse me. Um, but being like, oh, well, I need somewhere to move, and then me, like, being a dumbass, and being like, oh, well, let's get a place together, because I felt bad, because he never a place to live. So, whatever. That was a year and a half ago. We broke up not long after that, and it, he's a good person. It's just, he's immature. He was very mature, um, didn't have his shit together, wasn't planning on getting his shit together, and, you know, was more, more of a little boy than a man. So, moved out. I don't live far from my parents. I live five minutes away. I'm not really willing to move far away from my parents' house. Sometimes I think about, like, moving. There's this um, city that I want to live in that's, like, two hours away from me. Um, but I just can't imagine not living close to my family. I'm five minutes from my mom and dad's house and my sister. I'm five minutes away from my aunt, 15 minutes away from my grandmother that I'm very close to. Um, you know, so it's just a good location. If you guys want to know more about my bar apartment, well, I know you guys want an apartment tour, but I'll kind of, like, give you an overview. It's, like, um, a two-bedroom apartment. I pay a really good price. All utilities are included. I have a backyard. I have a deck. Um, so it's really hard living on my own, and I kind of want to do a video about that for those of you that are considering moving out on your own and just want some type of advice and maybe some, like, bu budgeting advice to tell you, like, what I pay each month. Um, but I do live by myself. My boyfriend, my current boyfriend, Joe, like, he's here a lot, but he doesn't live here, you know, like, this is my space, my area, I pay for everything on my own, and it's hard, like, I, you know, have to work a lot, but I, I love it, I love having my own space, and it's just mine, and, you know, I can do what I want, nobody's there to question me, or whatever, I, I just love it, um, so yeah, I live on my own, my, I got a new job, I was waitressing back whenever I made these videos, but now I am doing my, for whatever reason, it's my dream job. I am a social worker. I work at a residential treatment facility, which is a place, it's a trauma-based facility. So most of the kids I get, I would probably say like 95% of the kids on campus have some type of trauma. There are some of them that are there and they don't really have trauma, but they have issues. And I work in, I'm a shift leader. Like I, um, in the, I I'm not the head of the house, but I'm like, I have a supervisor the house supervisor, and then me, and then, like, my team. So, I've been there for two years, actually. It will be two years in November, and I love it, but I, it's literally the hardest job in the whole entire world. Um, I am the shift leader of the house. I, I get 12 to 16-year-olds. If the kids are 16, they tend to be lower functioning because my house is definitely the more of the lower functioning house. We, you know, get kids like that. And it's it's really hard. Like, if I ever make videos, I probably wouldn't make a video if I had a black eye or something. But if I ever come on here and I'm doing an outfit a day or anything and I have, like, bruises everywhere, I have a black eye or, like, happen to have a bald spot, which has not happened yet, thank the Lord, because that child... <sighs> I will be very angry at that child, but, um, yeah, just, like, don't be like, oh my god, what happened? It's just, like, these kids, I have a really good relationship with almost all of them, but they tend to get aggressive, and the group of kids I have right now are, like, they're all aggressive, and it sucks. Um, if you want any more, like, information about this job, like, any more questions, just let me know, but, um, my goal, I'm trying to go back to school in the fall, we'll see, I'm gonna inquire today about it, actually, um, uh, because I don't really, I'm at a point in my life where, like, Ever since I was five, I wanted to be a social worker. I wanted to work in residential because my aunt is my hero and she has done this her whole life. Um, but it's, it is, I, I can't even explain to you, like I could tell you guys stories that you wouldn't even believe. I, like I just, I can't even explain to you how horrible it is, but in, in the same regards, like it's so rewarding. Um, 
you know, I went through a lot as a kid and I didn't have anybody that I felt like I could connect with or that I could go to. So I really try to be that for these kids. But I mean, we all know like when we were little teenagers, we were little bitches. So I work, <laughs> I work in a house of like 15 kids that are all great, but they're teenagers, they're female teenagers. So imagine what that's like. Um, I work four days on, four days off, but like the, the four days that I work, I usually do three or four 16 hour days. Um, like 6 30 a.m. to 10 30 p.m. which sucks but the really nice place and the really nice thing about this job is you can work as much overtime as you want so and since I'm a shift leader I make more so I try to do a good amount of overtime um okay so that's all about my job again if you need one some specific questions let me know now so Joe and I Joe and I have been dating for not quite a year it's a little less than a year and he is just Everything I ever wanted in a partner, he is amazing. You know, like, we're just taking our relationship slow, but compared to the other relationships I've had, Joe is just, like, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, we have not had an argument yet. Like, we will argue, but to me, like, with my past, like, we don't raise our voices at each other. We don't curse at each other. We don't call each other names. Like, like I'm able to say, like, I'm angry at you and this is why. And we're able to discuss it. Like, it may be an angry discussion, but it's not a, like killing each other discussion, you know, um, so it's just the healthiest relationship I've ever been in, he treats me like a princess, emotionally, physically, mentally, like, he just makes me feel so good about myself, and he is such a blessing, I never thought that I would be so blessed to be with somebody like Joe, like, he just, every single day, multiple times a day, he, like, tells me I'm beautiful, but it's not, like, this corny, like, telling me I'm beautiful, and it's, like, whatever, like, he's, like, genuinely, like, complimenting me, he, like, you know, like, he takes me out, and, my past boyfriends that I've dated, like, maybe I'll do a video, let me go if you, if you guys want to know about, like, my past relationships, because I had very unhealthy past relationships, and it's way too much to talk about right now, but maybe if that's something you guys are interested in, I, I'm definitely willing to talk about it if it's going to help somebody, um, but yeah, he, you know, he plans stuff for us, and takes me out all the time, and, but it's not even, like, we don't even have to spend money to have fun, like, he plans, like, a picnic, or he plans, like, whatever, um, and is so supporting and he pushes me and that's, that's the biggest thing. He really pushes me to be the best person I can be and I can be very, very bitchy. I'm a very bitchy person naturally and I've dealt, like I've had different boyfriends who dealt with it in different ways and they weren't healthy ways. Um, and Joe deals with it as like, I have, I have the utmost respect for him so I don't feel the need, I I feel like when I get bitchy towards somebody, like how I have in the past, it's because I haven't respected them. So with Joe, like, I don't feel like I have to be like that with him because I respect him so much. Um, we met at work. He also works at the facility that I work at, and he just inspires me in every aspect of life. You know, he used to weigh a lot, and he, like, is on a, still is on his weight loss journey, but has, like, come miles for his weight loss. He's a very healthy person, works out daily. He's extremely healthy. He is an insanely amazing worker at our facility. Like, our, our facility is really, really hard to work at. It's tough, but he just, like, he's so good with the kids, and he's just, you know, he's financially responsible. He's, like, a man. He's, like, you know, I can't say enough good things about Joe. I truly love him so much, and I, I'm so blessed to have him in my life. Um, and I guess the last kind of update that I have, I feel like my life isn't that interesting, is that... Um, I'm on a weight loss journey. I have lost 14 pounds so far and I have 32 more pounds to go. Unfortunately, I'm like at a plateau right now. Like I can't, I can't get under 14 pounds and it's making me so upset. So if you guys have like been into weight loss, please let me know like if you have any suggestions for what for me to do because I'm not gaining anything, but I'm not losing either. And it really, really sucks. Like I'm really trying. I go to the gym um, three or four days out of the week, you know, I eat really healthy, I have one cheat day, but that cheat day consists of, like, one cheat meal, one cheat snack, and one cheat drink, so, um, I think the one thing is I do drink a lot, like, my job is stressful, and not that I'm al an alcoholic, but, like, my, like, my de-stressor is to, like, have a few drinks after work, so I definitely think if I cut out alcohol, that would help, but at this point, I just don't feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm sounding like an alcoholic, but at this point I feel like that's not something I'm willing to cut out, and I feel like that sounds like I depend on it, and it's not that I depend on it, it's just like, 
it's just like socially that's what we do like we have a really group um close group of coworkers and like we you know that's what we do to unwind we go we have a few drinks we bitch about work and then like we can move on like we don't need to work stress about work anymore because it's out in the open and we bitched about it for like hours um so yeah but i i, I do want to do like a video about my weight loss like what i do at the gym what's in my gym bag so if you have any requests for that like i want to talk about it because there's like a huge long story regarding my weight loss um and I believe that's it. If you guys have any questions regarding these things, please let me know. And if there's a lot of questions, I'll do a video regarding them or I'll just answer them. They let me know if you're interested in like the fitness aspect of videos. I know that's a popular thing here on YouTube and I would love to share my journey with you guys because I know that it would motivate me knowing that there's these people watching me losing weight and I don't really want to like let them down. And that is about everything. I have talked about my Instagram like making one. I'm in the process of it. As soon as I get that ready, I'll let you guys know. And I will speak to you next time. Bye.